everybody. Finally, I'm going to do a video. So I got to get myself situated here. I had to figure out like where to center this and make sure you could see the entire thing, which now I see that you can. So that's good. Uh, last time I did the video, it didn't, which you didn't see because I didn't record it correctly. Somehow I had managed to record it in like slow-mo and um, it was a disaster. So anyway, I have my workstation all set up here as well. So I do have that up in case I get any emails or things I need to answer um, while I'm here. But last week I recorded uh, a video last weekend. Today is the Tuesday the 14th of July. So I recorded a video last weekend to be like, okay, my starter video, try and catch up from the last time I recorded. And um, accidentally touched the slow-mo thing. And I talked and did stuff for 44 minutes and I couldn't upload it, of course. So that was kind of a pain. But I'm all set up here on my new desk, three by five. Also my new work space since I'm working from home. And I thought I'm not, I the last time I recorded from what I can remember was through May 10th, which was Mother's Day. So I haven't recorded since then. So May to June, June to July. So it's been just a tad over two months. And I stopped because I was packing and then we moved and then I was unpacking and then I had to wait for my husband to set up the recording for me. Uh, I'll try and show you my whole setup um, so you can see what it's like before we, we um, stop. Actually, I'll just show it to you now. So, okay. Let me try and do this. All right, so here is my desk. So this is um, the part you can see I've got some storage here and my lamp and some stuff. And there's my keyboard and my monitor for work. And I'll pull that forward probably a good uh, six to eight inches when I work. Um, and here's some more supplies. Then for the recording, that is the bar, and I just set my phone on top of here, flat, and it records, so it's actually really perfect. And it just clamps to the back of my desk uh, with a piece of wood and a C-clamp that my husband uh, did for me. So it really, it works perfectly. <laughs> and then when I turn around on my chair, there is my watercolor stat table and my deck, and it's raining out there right now. But um, the deck is all decorated. I think when I showed it to you, I don't know that I had the deck all done, but it's all done now. There's seating way down there. Um, there's two chairs over here. Maybe I can just open this and show you. So yeah, there's a chair and another chair right next to it. So it's really set up, really nice. We're sitting out there and oh my gosh, it's beautiful, but I can't have the door open while I'm recording. So anyway, I did show all this before. Um, there's my wall stuff, pictures and inspiration and a couple of my watercolors um, I'll just show you actually these are my two my two favorite watercolors this was a super loose style a floral which I loved it was the first one I'd done like that and this is a detailed one so um, and I don't have uh, Klaus my hamster anymore I had to give him to my daughter to my granddaughter because they don't allow hamsters here and the, with the condo association. So let me just bring this back over here. 
And I'm gonna try and watch my time. I've been going five minutes. So I'll try and watch so that I don't go like too long. Cause then it really gets long for you guys to watch. And I wanna just do it in parts. So I'll probably just do several parts and just label them catching up. Part one, part two, part three to however long it takes me to catch up. But I did, um, and see this came off, darn it. <laughs> I did, um, re I did write every single day. And if I had something that came up that had was a sticker, I went ahead and put it down, but uh, there really wasn't a lot of that. And I determined um, last time when I talked and it didn't record correctly, I did do some stuff here. Um, I did some decorating of a few pages. And I just determined that it was going to take way too long to sit here and decorate while I talked. So I just decided that if I had something for that page, I was going to put it down but I'm not going to spend the hours it would take for me to just like decorate everything because it would just take way too long and I just, I just can't spend that time doing that. So I'm not gonna, not gonna do that. I have this washi I got, um, I think it was Jane Davenport um, and I just got it on sale and it seems to be more of a tape that peels off so it's a little weird what I wanted to do was stick um, this is coming off sort of was kind of stick something down here um, because it seems to be um, coming off and I'm trying to get this washi separated from the backing I didn't realize when she did this that it was like backed onto something like this so that's definitely different so yeah, I decided I will just, I've got some ephemera I saved. Um, it's not a lot, but I'm gonna go ahead and wherever I can use it, um, like if I see something and I, I happen to have saved, saved pieces of it, which I do have a bunch of ephemera, um, then I will go ahead and stick that on there. And, um, do it that way but I do this fell out this page as well so I just I don't want my pages oops falling out so I'm going to at least stick them on a little bit and then go through what has been happening the past two months and and I it has been a crazy and that did not stick at all uh, busy past two months. It just, it has. It's just been craziness. And um, I guess that's part of moving and uh, a new job. And there's just, you know, it's a lot of stuff. So that's understandable. This is just, just not cooperating, you guys. All right. See if we can do this and make it make it stay like it's supposed to. I'm just trying to make it so my poor book does not fall apart. That's the plan anyway. All right. I think that's pretty good. I'm not gonna say it's perfect because it's not. But maybe it's good enough. Let's see. 
this is really odd tape. I mean, I'm not used to having to do it this way. But I'm gonna just put this extra piece here like I did on the other one. I think it will help it stick. Now when I cut it, I'm gonna leave a part of it open. Ouch, I sharpened, I cleaned up all my scissors and got all the gunk off of them and sharpened them all. That little washi scissor that I use is, scissor for my washi tape is sharp. All right, so let's just go and just do a flip through. And if I have something to put down, I'll put it down. But I just wanna more than anything, let you know what's been happening since Mother's Day. And so I, I think I'll just kind of flip through and kind of see what's in here. So you can kind of catch up uh, with my life. At least that's my plan. So let's see. So May 11th, it looks like I spent the morning at home. So I am assuming that I was working mornings at this point or I wasn't working mornings. So uh, for two weeks, I worked um, at home. And then I was like, I just can't take it anymore. Can I come back? Because we were only like eight people in the office. We weren't um, a lot of a lot of people. And, um, you know, so it wasn't a big deal. And so I was just kind of like, maybe we can just, um, you know, we should be able to social distance and everything, right? And not have too much too much trouble. <laughs> That's the idea anyway. But anyway, so um, I, can, I took the mornings. She gave me the mornings off, my boss, Mandy, and then um, I came in on... Um, in the afternoons and then she left earlier in the afternoon so that's how it was so um that was about all uh oh at that time i had been chatting with my brother uh, about working for him um as a project manager because he said that he could pay me full-time uh and not as a contractor but as a full-time employee he had set that up so I was really super excited about that to be able to come on not as a contractor because that was kind of the stipulation. I wanted to work for him, but I didn't um, want to work as a contractor just because the paying of the... Doggone it, my phone rang and it wasn't even a call. That was like, it was just a spam call. It rang twice and stopped. <laughs> So I have to start this again, that figures, right? So now I have to up, combine my videos to upload them. Anyway, I was talking with my brother because he'd offered me the job as a full-time full position and as an employee. So I said, yes, I would love the job as a project manager. So we decided I would start on July 6th. And um, so Monday I was kind of like, I just, I don't know what to do. I kind of want to. I want to tell them, even though it was almost two months before I would even be starting. I wanted to let them know so that we could look for somebody, and I would have time to train them in, because my job uh, was very detailed and lots, lots of things to keep track of. Um, really, a lot to learn, and I wanted to give somebody. Um, the opportunity to be able to do that, um, uh, to be able to, to, to learn and have the time. I wanted a month for them. So I didn't tell them, but I talked to my husband and I'm like, you know, I just don't feel right not saying something. So he finally agreed and so I decided the next day I would. But anyway, as I said, we were getting prepared um, to move and... Um, we had already, I think we had the condo, we had already offered and been accepted for the condo. And so we thought, well, we probably better start doing a little bit of um, packing. So we did take, uh, Doug took apart our dining room table and we put moved furniture in the craft room into the dining room, just kind of piled everything up. 
And then that gave me room because I really wanted to pack in the craft room and have all the totes in there with nothing else in the way. So we moved out bookcases and the bed, which we sold and um, anything else. The, and we, we left my desk at this point, but that wasn't gonna stay very long. So that's kind of what we did. Then on Tuesday, um, I kept doing some watercoloring stuff and I did pack up two totes of craft room stuff. I watched the Shannara Chronicles on Netflix and, and then when I went into work, I talked to Mandy and gave her notice that July 3rd would be my last day. And it was super hard, you guys, because I really loved working for CGI. They're a wonderful family-owned company. My boss was so wonderful, the president and his brother, they're all just very nice. A small, you know, small, even though we have lots of people, franchisees working for us here and overseas. But it just was like a family. And uh, Mandy and I had become good, good friends in the past three years that I had been working there. And um, it was difficult. I think we both had tears in our eyes. Um, but she just let me know that she was, um, even though, you know, there was no way she could get me to stay, that, you know, she really supported me in what I was doing. So we got, uh, put an ad up right away for somebody, uh, for the position, looking for someone for the position. So, um, and also along with that, just because of all we had to do to rebuild files from a ransomware attack, uh, we had to rebuild like three years of files. So um, I started working at the office full time again. And in the evening we did some more packing, watched some Star Trek Next Generation, that was about it. Um, so let's see. Back to work the next day and I told, so then Mandy and I told Gary that I was going to be leaving and we told uh, Scott who is the CFO and um, so just worked on, I set up some, a couple of interviews for the next day. So came home, um, watched some Star Trek Next Generation and it looks like we listened to the governor, had a press conference to announce the end of the stay at home order, but we still had to follow guidelines. And then Doug had a life group meeting that he went to and they just met outside um, around a, camp a campfire. So I just watched some watercolor YouTubes and read, you know, didn't, didn't do a lot. I had a virtual visit, a Zoom visit, or not Zoom, I'm not sure, maybe Google, um, with my best friend. Then on Thursday the 14th, um, I had Starbucks today. Mandy actually got me one in the morning and Carrie got me Starbucks in the afternoon. That last month I was, or so I was there before I started training somebody and I got tons of Starbucks, like almost every day it felt like for a long while. But anyway, um, Doug went to work super early for some reason. Um, maybe he couldn't sleep well, I can't remember. I did two interviews by Zoom and I liked one of the gals, Melody, a lot. Um, so I did arrange with her, she was moving back to Minnesota to have an actual meeting, in-person meeting with her uh, when she got back, which wouldn't be till the end of June or beginning of June, end of May or something like that. Um, my husband had his sleep study. Um, had a sleep study and he needed to do during that night to see if he needed a CPAP because I felt like he wasn't one time when he was sick. I felt like he was, he had stopped breathing several times. So I wanted him to do that. I already use one. So yeah, we attended a Zoom, virtual Zoom prayer meeting for missionaries. Um, though we had to leave early because we went to another city and I had found a chair on Marketplace because my recliner had just, couldn't be fixed anymore. We'd fixed it so many times, so no more fixing. So we got rid of that, we had to throw it away and I found one for 20 bucks, but, and I tried it and I didn't like it, so I gave it to my daughter because they needed a new one. 
I was in excellent shape, but just not what I was looking for. And then I found another one for free. Uh, that one was so cheaply made. So I said, I've got to find something and I don't want a recliner. I'm, I'm just tired of trying to deal with a recliner. So I found an oversized, really comfy chair and kind of a pretty big blue and green plaid pattern, a very muted color. And it had a great big ottoman and it was only $100. So we went and looked at it. It had barely been used. So um, we got it, brought it home and I I love it. I It's huge so Sadie can sit with me and I can put stuff on the arms and <laughs> I can just like, it's just so such a comfortable chair. So I'm super glad I found it and it was well worth the price. Um, so then on Friday, it looks like we must have had Devonis or something. Uh, we had a discovery day uh, for a potential franchisee and we did have Devonis pizza for lunch. And um, we got off work early, so Doug and I went to see his mom and her husband. And we just met outside at a park nearby and um, we had Popeye's chicken for supper. So that's kind of all we did. Um, had a nice visit with them. Went home and watched uh, three episodes of The Letter for the King or Letter to a King or something like that. It was on Netflix. And that was a good show. We really liked that one. Saturday and Sunday. Um, trying to watch the time here so I don't get too long on y'all. So on Sunday, um, looks like we did some packing. I had a Zoom meeting with my girlfriends. There's about five, six of us that have a Zoom meeting every Saturday morning, if we're around. Doug took apart my craft desk. So you remember I had that great big corner craft desk. It's so huge, so wonderful, but it just couldn't take another move. So took it apart and threw it away. And I got the, that's why I got this table for crafting, which really works better in this location. Um, anyway, so he did that. Um, I packed away all my craft supplies so I wasn't doing any more videos. I did leave my watercolors out. I just used my little white table, put it up against the wall so I could still watercolor because I did want to do that. Um, more packing, it was definitely a packing day. Um, somebody bought Ray, Sadie's twin bed. Uh, we just got an air mattress for her, a big one that inflates in like 30 seconds. It was perfect, just perfect for her. Um, let's see, errands. We're doing shopping. My husband's shopping for uh, my best friend. So like once every couple weeks. So I just visit outside with her while he does that. So he did that. Um, we watched the Red Box movie Call of the Wild with uh, Harrison Ford, and that was actually pretty good. And we're still watching uh, Next Generation. Oh, there's my keep make sure my page here doesn't fall off the grid. <sighs> Church is trying to figure out what to do, you know, for sisterhood this fall because we're still not going to the building um, Sunday was a very rainy day and I did make coffee cake I hadn't made coffee cake in years and it had almost a biscuit like texture it was a sour cream coffee cake and it was actually pretty good not to have it like too sweet or cakey like um, still watching Star Trek Next Generation we had church online church uh, we watched that at 10 and at that time we were it was still only online and so we had virtual prayer rooms since we're on the prayer team so we would just go in there during the next service um, at 11 o'clock in case anybody came in for prayer um, didn't do much after that I watercolored had a virtual chat time with Rachel and Sadie so I watercolored while I chatted with them and they did stuff at the same time as well so that was kind of nice because we still weren't like visiting at that point um, we watched some more the letter for the king 
Oh, and my son got back on Sunday night with his fiance, Marce. Um, she had been in Texas since February taking care of someone, an elderly person. So that job was done. And she only has six months here in the States. So he went down and picked her up to bring her up here to Minnesota for the rest of her time before she goes back to Mexico in the middle of August. Um, and I don't think I had anything... Let's see, I said he made mole, and that actually took, uh, mole takes this abuelita. So I am going to cut that out and put it in, so at least we have something. So you're not just, like, listening to me talk the whole time, right? Which is basically all we're doing. But I'll put this in before we continue. Okay, I think, yeah, I think that'll work. So let's do that. It's almost, it's like 2.30ish now today here, so um, not a lot. Like I said, I'm, tr I'm training in, so it hasn't been super busy. And when there isn't work to do, I get to do my own thing, which is kind of fun. Okay, so Mandy brought, Monday morning, she brought Starbucks. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and just put this piece in because she did bring Starbucks. So let me find my, there it is. Um, coffee for me this morning and supper spaghetti. We watched Next Generation, um, Star Trek again, um, and I did some painting, and that was, that was about it, and we, yeah, that was about it, some TV. Uh, Tuesday at work, uh, we got treated to Devani's Pizza by one of the franchisees, which was really nice, and I do have, oh, look at here, I have some Devani stuff. Ooh, good. I'm always glad when I can find something. Looks like I've got some parts of that I need to throw away. But at least I'll I can put in this this part. Looks like some of this needs to just be like tossed. Maybe I can just kind of wipe it. Get the sticky. <laughs> the, the garlic stuff off of it, right? Okay, so, yes, Devonis. That was nice. All right, I'm just going to put that over here. So that gives me a little something I can put down here. Um, all right. So let's put that one here. Uh, let's see. And let's. And we had Starbucks again. So I'm just going to use this little piece of it because I don't want to like take up too much of my space with a big Starbucks thing, because remember I did say I had Starbucks fairly often. Uh, let's see, it was Tuesday. So then what did we do? After work, we went to do a drive-by birthday parade for a friend of mine uh, that her kids had organized. So that actually was a lot of fun. Um, then... Oh, and then after that, I had sisterhood with my table ladies, uh, and we met at a park so that we could social distance outside. So we celebrated uh, one of the ladies' birthdays and just met outside. So that was about it. Um, oh my gosh, my poor book. I just pulled this out of here. Oh, it's another page that I pulled out. It's hard to keep this together, you guys. It really is. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I'm going to stop there and come back. Um, that's the end of part one. And that's probably long enough. 
Whoops, oops, oops. So I'll be back.